Officials Isaac Barnett, Angelica Suffren, and Lauren Namara. Pell wins the jump, and Munford will run the show to get us started. Run with them. Second meeting of the year. Bluecoats with a little revenge on their mind tonight. Yeah, sure, because Capital City beat them pretty handily. And a good start. Uh, and continue to be a problem during the season. They average better than 22. Hudson knocks it down to tie us up. Glenn Hudson out of Florida, a rookie who was selected in the G League draft. Pell slams it down. Wizards, while not a good team, one thing they do do, they will turn you over and they will score points. And Hudson. they did both last night. Tied at five right now. Munford and Pell breaks the tie with the finish. Smith gets Jones in the air and finishes strong. You really need to value the basketball, value possessions. Jones gives the Capital City Go-Go the lead. Again for Jalen Jones, but averaging 20 points to lead the way for the Go-Go. Five and five, the Blue Coats six and four, winners of three straight, as I mentioned. Shayok, he knocks it down. Him tonight. He'll wear eight in white. Shayok goes in and rattles it home. For the Blue Coats, he's got a game high eight points in this one. A good start for the home team. And even better, they've held their opponent to 33% shooting. A strong finish for Jonah Bolden. Defensive rebound escapes him. Shot clock had reset to 14 as it does on a miss. Works its way to Jones, who capitalizes. He gives them almost 25 minutes a game. We'll have it at 24.8. And the bucket goes for Haywood Highsmith. Capital City, Kellen Dunham into the game for the first time, as is Anzez Poseshnis, but it's Jalen Jones again. But he gets a pick, Poseshnis, and there's Washburn on the spot for the steal. It's like he knew we were talking about his defense. Brown Ridge, the little stutter step pays off to the cup. I feel like he, he averaged more last year. I was going to say, I feel like he had a good game in this gym last year. Kumaji hooks it in. Alston. Kumaji the putback. 4-19, Blue Coats lead. He has a lot of fun, and he dunked it home. Nine and a half a game off the bench. Final two minutes or so, first quarter, and a steal off the bench for Noah Allen and the slam. Gogo are one of the best at turning you over top three. There's another one. All alone, Irebu. Pushing towards double digits, and instead it's three points. Some momentum for Capital City. Smith, count it, plus the foul. Well, we'll take a peek at Zaire Smith, who, by the way, in each of his last two games. Shayok had a team-high eight points for the Blue Coats in the first. Jalen Jones a game-high nine for the go-go. There's Jonah Bolden with the slam. Another rebound for Delaware, leading that category 17-7. Shayok smooth to the cup. From the outside, he can take you off the dribble. Hudson got Mumford to bite and converts. Fernanda Angelica Suffren and Lauren Nimiera. Shayok inside the arc connects. Well, wow, great use of Jonah Bolden's screen. Matthews 24 in white as another miss on the dunk attempt. So finally Pell leaking out, and he gets that one to go. Case here. Bolden, the feed for Pell, who goes up top and finishes it. He's playing with a little bit of an extra something. Irebu over Bolden for two. Triple, Brownridge, knockdown. Highsmith for Kumaji, who puts it down. Kumaji with the hook. Again, Kumaji. Very, very good perimeter defender. A dynamic personality, really interested in photography, and a young guy checking out some other young guys here tonight in Wilmington as Cobbins gets it to go. City trailing by 12 in the road whites, as we do in the G League. Cobbins picks for Booth, who's fouled and gets it to go, plus the foul. Take a peek, Kamaji steps over and then he just flies at it, leaves his feet, which is usually a no, no Nine for Capital City, Hudson and Grant with seven. Here's Grant for Poseshnis, who's on the score sheet with the hook. To be able to retake it because the blue coat stepped into the paint before he had released that shot on the free throw line. Booth, the touch to Allen, who gets the roll. 
and could possibly throw you off as you go up to try to nail that three-pointer. I'd say here's Shayok who has 12, make it 14 on the roll. Does have two points, so I missed one of his buckets, but he's got two, two, and two. Doesn't have any threes. Brownridge does. He connects from downtown for the second time. Rebounding Capital City 31 to 11. Booth on Washburn. Give him four points now. Bolden goes in and scores. We're going to take the jumper. And when he realized the guy had committed the flyby, he had an open lane. And AP, Anjans Pesechnis with the roll. It was actually more towards the end of the scoring table between the bench and the scorer's table. Bolden finds Smith who walked right back onto the floor and hits the three. Contesting and Bolden with his ninth rebound. I think Paul got a piece of that one. Oh, that's a shame. But Grant steals and slams. Gogo trying to win after they're coming off a Tuesday loss. Shayok going in and scoring, give him 16 first half points. Our Blue Cones at six and four on the season. Shayok on the defensive end. Shot clock turned off, approaching the final five seconds. Grant with some time left, knocks it down. We're here at the Fieldhouse, and it's your first time here, I believe, other than the blue-white scrimmage, of yeah. course, but to take in a Blue Coats game. What do you make of a Blue Coats game here it's, at the Fieldhouse? It's exciting. These guys play with a high energy. Chemistry between the two programs, the Blue Coats and the Sixers. That's huge. I mean, especially because the, uh, the demand is that when you come up to the Sixers that you need to be able to just, like, fit in seamlessly. In the summer together, they practice training camp together. Norvell also being a two-way guy, he knows a bit, and Zaire. Here's Shayok making it look easy again. A little jealous of how easy it comes or seemingly comes to Shayok. Well, because as we would say, you would define Shayok as a natural-born scorer. 18, Pell the other blue coat in double figures with 10 all in the first half. Jones and Grant, 13 and 12 respectively for Capital City. There's Hudson to get to double figures himself with 11. Blue jerseys and the white jersey is the one who ends up with the ball in his hands. So the Blue Coats down three, not anymore. Jonah Bolden connects. Shayok from downtown, counted for three. Pulled a jumper out of his head. Grant blocked by Highsmith. For Bolden, who hammers it home. Well, take a peek. Highsmith splits the defenders, and then, yeah, you saw Cobbins. He was behind him, and he did give him a shot. He did, but got the pass away, according to the officials. Five to shoot for Grant, not on the same page as Cobbins. The tenth turnover for Capital City. Four on one. Alston for Pell. Look out below. Timeout, Capital City. Kumaji in off the bench. No luck in the swat by Chris Kumaji. Bro, Capital City, five and five. And if their schedule tells you anything, they're in line for another win, but they've got some work to do. Grant to 14 points. This will be the final home game before the 27th of the month month for the Blue Cones as Alston rolls at home. And for Kumaji to give him a pick. 10 to shoot for number 10. The lob for Kumaji. Easy does it for the big man. With his sixth board. Had five in the first half. His defense and rebounding have shown recently and Brownridge knocks down his third triple of the game. Jones pure over Washburn. Definite impact number or two numbers in this game. Swatted him. Keep in mind we saw Doral Moore for two minutes but you have him in a case of emergency. Possession is a pretty move around Chris Kumaji. G League point guard. First year with the Coats. Finds Kumaji, who's having a great night. Turns it over, Hudson. Blue Coats get it back. Well, and Kumaji had altered that previous shot. Brown Ridge sure. connects from deep. 32 points off the bench between Kumaji and Brown Ridge. Irebu fading and hitting. 76ers and the Washington Wizards, who met last night in the NBA. Mariel Shayok with a team high and game high 21. It stays with Delaware, the contest from Hudson. And picked up their defensive intensity. Dunham, that's where he excels and he knocks it down. Bolden has a double-double, 11, 11, and 5. That would have been his sixth assist. Hudson tipped in by Cobbins. Bolden turns it over. 
Dunham for Jaron Grant. Make sure he's behind the line and count it for three. For Delaware, the tallest guy on the floor. And floater for Munford. Natural instinct when but, you're trying to protect your guy. But there was also a lot of contact leading up to that yeah. between the two of them. Ten to shoot. Matthews, his fifth attempt. He's fouled. Count the triple. On him. Leaning in and hitting. They're within one, Capital City. Buckets in this building, and that was a big one. Bryson, excuse me, Brownridge for two. Coates in double figures. Kumaji, who's at the table, has 18 off the bench. Seven point bench points edge for the Blue Coats, 38 to 31. 10 to shoot. Grant, number 10, it's pure. In Wilmington. Jaron Grant tied for a game high with 21. With Shayok give him 23. Grant, 18 point mark, that's second on the team. Two below his season average. Jalen Hudson knocked down for three. Timeout, Delaware. Fourth quarter clock. Two team fouls for Capital City. Shayok steps in and it's pure. It's here in the fourth quarter. 23 in the game, seven in the second half for Mariel Shayok. Hudson from downtown again. And now he's catching fire. One of four go-go players in double figures. Give him 19 as he floats it home. I mean, they have gone cold, cold, cold. Shayok. He got it. Shayok had 42 in this building against Greensboro on November 11th. Step back three. Buckets. Mariel Shayok from downtown. Kumaji, 20 points, and the Blue Coats lead. Jalen Jones can't quiet the crowd. Kumaji's got 20 and 12 on a career night. There it goes, but there will certainly be an adjustment. Three or four seconds should have ticked off. Shayok steps in, doesn't get the hometown roll. Still a one-point game. Clock stayed stopped for a number of seconds, and to not adjust that, that can make a big difference at the end of this game. I didn't even notice. We haven't had an adjustment yet. Two minutes. That's why Grant's shooting two free throws. Back to normal free throw rules, and he's pure on the second. The go-go lead again, and it is a 14-second. Munford, 10 to shoot for Shayok. Going in strong and finishing, giving the Bluecoats the lead. Highsmith and Washburn in the game, long on the wings. Bolden has the Jones dunk go right by him to take the lead. A big dunk for Jalen Jones. And over pursued. Washburn was an inch off. One points in the game. Down by one. Shayok. Bolden dunks it home with five seconds left. Jonah Bolden triggers it. Clock starts. Grant to Dunham. Bryson closes out. Kellen Dunham's floater doesn't go in. The Blue Coats survive the tip and they win the game. Fourth straight win for the Bluecoats, this one in emphatic fashion.